Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I am Jed Lockett, and welcome to another uh, live stream. Uh, tonight we're going to be opening up uh, these two, and actually a third pack of 2016 Don or Tops Series 1 baseball cards. Uh, I had initially put those packs aside for another video that I was doing, but I had done part one of that video a while back, and it was the day that my laptop gave out, so we're doing part two of that here tonight as part of Thrifty Thursday. Do a Thrifty Thursday live stream. And, uh, Shudukes, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. If you've not done so, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. I hope you're doing well. Are you doing all right, Shug? And I hope I'm pronouncing your handle correctly. I hope so, anyway. Right now, we've got two people in the stream right now. We're going to wait a few minutes and see if anybody else pops in. See how many other people pop in. I'm sure that there will be some other people at some point. I hope so, anyway. Let's see here. I'm doing well, Shug. I am doing all right. I had a another difficult or tiring day at work. It is better than some days. Baseball lover, good to have you with us. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Joester's Cards and Coins. Hello, Joester. Welcome to a live stream that we are doing. We got four people so far. That's fantastic. Uh, baseball lover, I'm doing well. Joester, welcome to this live stream that we are doing for tonight. I've got uh, some cards from 2016 Tops, and I'll be opening those as part of a Thrifty Thursday live stream. Uh, I had bought these packs from Meyer when they were buy one, get one half off and on clearance at the same time. So these three I had to set aside for a video that I only recorded half of the day that my laptop went kerplooey. I uploaded the first half, the part that I was able to record to YouTube earlier this evening, so that's on the channel right now, and I thought, let's open the other three packs as part of a live stream, and then if these go all right, and you guys are doing all right, uh, I may have a f few others that I can open up. So, Baseball Lover, uh, thank you so much for checking on your cards uh, for Series 1 for 2019. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. I'm doing alright. I've had some delicious piping hot Arby's for dinner. And there's a lot of people who make a lot of jokes about Arby's, but it's actually pretty darn good. So... If you just get the, at the very least, the roast beef sandwich, your basic roast beef with, uh, uh, you know, just beef and bun, it, that stuff's really good. Yeah, the fries are pretty good. The fries are pretty good. Uh, 
They used to have the wide cut, the homestyle fries as an option, and I used to really like those. But uh, I'll tell you what they've got now, and what I should have gotten with my meal was a baked potato. Baked potatoes they have at Arby's are good. Uh, almost better than Wendy's, but now Arby's and Wendy's are owned by the same conglomerate, so of course they're going to have baked potatoes. Uh, let's see here. A baseball lover, are you asking me if I need cards to finish my opening day set? Because if you are, the answer is yes. I think I need about nine of them. And if you're asking me if I have doubles, well, yes, they're kind of sorted in uh, in and out between some things. Yeah, absolutely, Baseball Lover. Visit Baseball Lover's eBay at BS4726. I'll tell you what, Baseball Lover, at the end of the video, when I'm done opening 2016 Tops packs... I'll get out my 2019 opening day binder. It's right here with me. Hello, Phillies Cards and Games. Good to see you. And uh, Baseball Lover, I will open that binder. We'll go through it and uh, see specifically what it is that I am in need of. So uh, we'll do that after opening these 2016 packs. And who knows what else we might open. We might open some other stuff as well. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. We got five people in the stream right now. That is fantastic. Gabe Cards, what is up with you? Uh, we are going to... Got gotcha. you. I appreciate that, baseball lover. Gabe, good to see you. We are going to be opening... Some of these retail rack packs that I bought on clearance at Meyer for 2016 at Topps Baseball. I have these three rack packs that I purchased. Buy one, get one half off at the time. So I got a good deal on those. Gabe Cards, you got back from baseball practice. Where do you base or practice baseball with? Or who do you play for is what I should be asking. Love 2016. I know. I think 2016 is really underrated as a set. Uh, I think it got a bad rap simply because it was the first main top set to not use borders and people had their minds blown. And, yeah, where do I base you baseball practice with? Wall, yeah. Did I mention that in my spare time I'm a sports public address announcer? Yes. <laughs> Little League in North Carolina and Travel Ball. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, play Travel Ball. That's nice. Travel Ball and Little League. Phillies Cards and Games just got back from football practice. I see. Do you play high school? High school? Middle school? Because I'm getting ready to uh, do some announcing. Eli Gold, yes. The voice of the Crimson Tide of the University of Alabama. Fill these cards and games you play in middle school. That's cool. That is really neat. Well, um... I do have a football game myself coming up this... Uh, a week from tonight, actually. Uh, Withrow High School is hosting... Uh, Jamboree, a preseason football jamboree, and I will be doing some announcing for that as part of the Withrow High School home season. So, that I am looking forward to very, 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 very much. Very much indeed. And then, uh, about a week after that, fall sports start at Mount St. Joseph University, and I will be announcing for the Lions this season. Football, men's and women's soccer, and women's volleyball. Looking forward to all of that. That's going to take a lot of time, but it's time that I will not be spending in a warehouse, so yay for that. 
All right. So, baseball lovers is in seventh grade. Phillies cards and game, you're in sixth. That's cool. Awesome. Well, congratulations, Gabe Card, on winning the Southeast region. As for what I do in a warehouse, whatever they need me to. Whatever they need me to, pretty much. Well, let us get into some 2016 tops. Uh, these rack packs, 36 cards in a rack pack. I've got three of these as part of this break that I had started and not finished, but we're going to finish it now. And then uh, I actually have a few more packs here that I might break. See how, just see how things go. Really get 2016 tops off on a good note. Uh, I had broken some dollar packs I bought at my local Dunham's and a few of these rack packs. So I got a little bit of a start on the set, but we'll get a few more out of these packs. So without further ado, pack one. Pack one. Let's see what we have in the first pod. We have Aaron Sanchez, Eric Hosmer. I had said this a moment ago that I really do like the 2016 design. Uh, I think it's really dynamic. Uh, there are a lot of people whose minds were blown by the fact that it was borderless and goes against pretty much everything the tops went towards for pretty much their entire time that they've been making baseball cards. But I think that it is really nice and really modern. And at some point, you got to move, you got to look to move forward. And that's exactly what Topps has been doing in recent years. We got Chris Heston. That's a neat Ryan Braun card. The expression on his face, that's pretty interesting. I like that do like that. A nice Ian Kinsler. I like the photograph of that card. Trying to throw somebody out. Yeah, Tops. I used to collect Tops. Love collecting Tops football. Houston Astros team card. That's cool. We've got uh, the Josh Donaldson. That is a Tops gold, I think. And yes, it is numbered 435 of 2016. So there we go. Our first numbered card of this particular set of packs. Uh, we've got a Wade Miley, and it is foil. Foil. No serial number on that card. Yes, I have seen 2020 Tops design. And... Yeah, we'll we'll see how they look in person. I'm reserving my judgment in full for that. Uh, Preston Service, Ichiro pitching, apparently. Uh, we've got perspectives of Bryce Harper. Uh, we've got an MLB debut of Evan Longoria. That's interesting. Uh, more base cards, apparently. Yunel Escobar. The code we're looking on the back is 7075. You like it when I sing the foil song. That's cool. Yeah, that's a little Weird Al Yankovic reference, and I'm actually supposed to go see him in concert at the end of this month. He's coming to Indianapolis, and he will be performing with an orchestra. Looking forward to that. Yes, Tops does Tops does the Gold Cup for the second year players now. Uh, we've got Cattell Marte. Uh, for rookie cards, they have the rookie card symbol, like right here where my thumb is. But the Gold Cup, that is for outstanding players uh, who now are in the, I would say, second year of their careers, or second year of having Tops 
cards, and we're coming up on one right now. Charlie Morton. And here's a gold cup of Roberto Asuna. So there we go. There's the Roberto Asuna gold cup card. And it's also a Future Stars as well. David Fries, Scooter Jeanette, and Justin Verlander. I always like Mr. Verlander. Although I have to be honest, I like his wife more. All right, second pod of this pack. And I think I dinged a corner by accident. Darn. Darn my socks. All right. Uh, Francisco Rodriguez. Oh, well, now wait a minute. And we'll put Mr. Rodriguez to the side. Best rookie in this set. Not sure, to be honest with you. I would have to take a good look. This there's a card in here with the back in the back that also has a has some messed up corners. It's Freddie Freeman with the Braves. Darn. Emery Lewis, thank you so much. Uh, I've done a lot of videos for the channel and now getting into doing some live streams. Uh, eventually, I want to do some things like some live group breaks and live auctions uh, for this channel as well. Uh, the baseball... Yeah, I'll send you that bias card. Yes, absolutely. We got Taiwan Walker. We got Chase Headley. Billy Butler. Buster Posey. We got the Baltimore Orioles team card in celebration. Zach Greinke, Jake Arrieta, and Clayton Kershaw, the National League whip leaders. Mark Teixeira with the Yankees. We got the White Sox team card. We got a sticker. We got a sticker. Batting cage free eggs. St. Louis Cardinals made down on the farm. Major League Baseball is about to get wacky. Wacky packages. What kind of odds do you have? For getting, getting a sticker like that. He said wondering about those odds. Uh, pink, platinum, rainbow foils, red print, blah, 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 blah. Uh, mm. I'm not sure that says what the odds are for getting a, one of those wacky packages stickers. I'm not seeing them right away. Still, though, that's an interesting poll. Very fascinating. We got Yasmani Tomas, Kyle Losi, Jason Wirth, Zach Greinke, Jake Marisnik, Nick Markakis, Justin Turner, and Adam Eaton closes out that first pack. Let's get straight into pack number two. You want to get into pack two? Let's get into pack two. Pack two. Here we go. We've got Mark Melanson with the Pirates. Chris Young. Andre Ethier. Zach Britton. National League runs batted in leaders. Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, and Anthony Rizzo. Gabe Cards, thank you for stopping in. And come back when you can stay a while, please. We got the Pirates team card. And those uniforms are throwbacks to the early 70s Pirates uniforms. Back when the Pirates first moved into the Three River Stadium. We got a Robin Yount reprint. Burger's Best. That's interesting. 
Uh, I got a bunch of Phillies cards. I I can send you a whole small pack of small pack of Phillies if if you want. We got Anthony Rizzo, the Rizzo quality assortment, and it is foil, foil. Preston Service, Garrett Jones, MLB debut, Victor Martinez. The Greatest Streaks, Babe Ruth, 70 seasons with 40 home runs. That's interesting. Back to the base, Francisco Lariano. Not a short print variation or short print variation. Ryan Hannigan. Daryl Alvarez, rookie card. John Danks. Jorge Soler. Denard Spann. And Jake Marisnik. See what the other pod... Other pod holds. Where are the Babe Ruth bat cards? I guess this is the... The 177 seasons with 40 home runs, Babe Ruth... In this pod, we've got John Gray, we've got Robinson Cano, Colby Lewis, Logan Forsythe, got Michael Brantley, Salvador Perez, that's cool, Carter Caps, as we have the landscape portion of the pack, CC Sabathia, I'm loving the photography for 2016 tops, this is cool. The Mets, so we need to meet the Mets. Got Rediscover Tops. Okay, so if you want to go back in time, you can get 50 cents off Select Tops products. There you go. Take that code, use it, love it. We've got a Gold Cup rookie of Michael Conforto. That Gold Cup card does have a rookie card symbol as well. Uh, Eddie Rosario. Alex Dickerson, Pat Neshek, Nelson Cruz, Jake McGee, Chris Davis, Jan Gomes, and Neil Walker. And Mr. Walker has a ding corner, unfortunately, so I'll have to put him to the side. Yeah, the Conforto rookie is a good one. Nice. All right, let's get one more pack out of here, and then we'll see what uh, see what goes down. Pack three, the first pod. We've got Andrilton Simmons, AJ Pollock, Adam LaRoche, Lance Lynn, Carter Caps. That's a cool card. There's CC Sabathia again. We got Clayton Kershaw. Another one of these burgers best inserts. Pressed into service, Wade Boggs. Pitching. Uh, MLB debut, Babe Ruth. Don't know if I'm doing a more 88 Donruss tonight, but we shall we'll see. We'll see. Ten consecutive strikeouts for Tom Seaver. Uh, Walk-off wins for Ozzy Smith. Good for him. We got a Cavius Sampson rookie card. Not a short print variation or short print variation. Uh, Brandon McCarthy. We got Jason Wirth. Seth Smith. Got Kevin Kiermeyer, Mitch Moreland, and Jeff Francoeur. Uh, I referenced John Boyce last night in that live stream. He also did a video about Jeff Francoeur. So definitely check that out if you've not done so on the SB Nation YouTube channel. All right, this is our third pack of 2016 Top Series 1. Last pod of that pack, we've got Billy Burns. 
Scott Feldman, Miguel Montero, Annabel Sanchez, Kevin Plowecki. We'd love to have you become a uh, Patreon. Emery Lewis, no, I have not finished the 2019 score football base set. Uh, things have come up that prevent me from it, but still want to get some more packs to knock that out. National League wins leaders, Jake Arrieta, Zach Granke, Garrett Cole. Got Jason Kipnis. That's a cool card. A neat Starling Castro card. I like this stuff. Uh, World Series highlights, Salvador Perez. If you can see Mr. Perez among the rest of his teammates. Wow. King Felix Hernandez. Uh, we got Jason Hamill. Manny Machado. Kyle Losey. Oliver Perez. Hector Oliveira rookie card. Kendall Graveman. Homer Bailey, who pitched two no-hitters while he was here in Cincinnati. And that pack ends with Jake Odorizzi. And Mr. Odorizzi sadly has a ding corner. I will make you guys a deal. If you will give me a few minutes to make a pit stop, I will come back. I will come back. E.L. Brown, we're opening up some 2016 Tops Baseball. I just opened three Series 1 packs, and I was getting ready to play Let's Make a Deal. Uh, I need to go make a pit stop for a few minutes, but if you're here when I come back, I'll open up all of these for you as well. Be back in a few.
All right, so didn't miss anything over there with the oh boy. So I'm back. I am back. Good grief. All right. Nature called. What can I say? It happens. But thank you so much for uh, returning and, or be actually being here, rather. I'm the one who's returning, of all things, so. Uh, I have made the deal. If you were going to be back or going to stick around, I would open up uh, these packs as well. You got two more rack packs of 2016 Top Series 1. And we got four uh, packs of 2016 Top Series 2. So, with that having been said, thank you so much for sticking around. The four of you that are in the live stream, thank you for being here. And let's bust into these. Shall we bust into these? Let's bust into these. Here we go. Another pack of 2016 Top Series 1. Don't think we'll be doing any 88 Donruss, but... There will definitely be more of that stuff in the future. Bust on in. That's what I'm doing, JC. Trying not to damage any more corners. Trying to, anyway. We've got Nick Ahmed. I live in a small apartment, anyway, so... Uh, everything's literally right on top of each other. Uh, Francisco Rodriguez. Taiwan Walker. Chase Headley. Nice scraper. Good grief. Uh, Johnny Cueto. World Series highlights. Uh, American League batting average leaders. Miguel Cabrera, Xander Bogarts, and Jose Altuve. We got a gold card. Wade Davis. And that is numbered 612 of 2016. That's cool. First pitch. Kristaps Porzingis. Famous tennis player. No, not tennis player. Basketball. You never know these days because so many of the guys that have the names from the tennis world are now playing basketball. Uh, perspectives. Uh, Ryan Howard. The world is a small place these days. MLB debut, Willie Mays. Walk-off wins, Bill Mazeroski. We got Kendris Morales. Andrew McCutcheon. Uh, we got Taylor Youngman. J.P. Howell. Jonathan LaCroix. Michael Jordan, Wimbledon champ. Oh, this <laughs> true. Uh, Brian McCann and Trevor Bauer. In my defense, what has Porzingis done in the league? He hasn't exactly lit lit it on fire like LeBron has he. Nadal is good. Uh, Federer's good. Uh, Serena Williams, I really like her. Uh, we got Michael Brantley in this pod. Mark Melanson. Chris Young. Andre Ethier. Zach Britton. Nick Castellanos. As we have our landscape cards, we got Carlos Gomez. Jose Bautista, that is a cool card with that bat flip. That's really cool. And that's the base, Batista. Nice. I'm not surprised that there's a Michael Jordan who got drafted in the NFL because that's actually a fairly common name, especially now that the basketball player Michael Jordan has done so well. Uh, Kyle Seeger, 
done so much. Yeah, a movie actor too. Angel Pagan. We got Daryl Alvarez rookie card. A neat Jose Altuve. I'm really digging the photographs in this stuff. Kyle Hendricks. Adam Lind. Victor Martinez. Jake Lamb. Julio Terran. And the pack ends with Chris Sale. Nice. Let's rip open this last pack that I've got of 2016 Top Series 1. And what in... What have we got here? What we've got is... Yeah, Porzingis is a great basketball player, but he tore his ACL. Yikes. Not good for Mr. Porzingis. We got CJ Cron. A neat Mookie Betts. I like that. Travis Jankowski rookie card. We got Matt Kemp. Um, National League Whip leaders. Zach Granke, Jake Arrieta, and Clayton Kershaw. Got Mark Teixeira. Ian Kinsler. A Tops Gold of A.J. Ramos with the Marlins. Numbered 1506 of... 2016. Sorry to hear that, JC. If, if you turn tried out, who knows what might, might have happened. Haley Atwell first pitch. I have no clue who Miss Atwell is. Uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe actress. Gotcha. We've got Clark the Cub. Part of a Wrigley Field insert set. That's cool. We got perspectives of Yadier Molina. Interesting. Interesting insert set. Uh, MLB debut, Babe Ruth. I don't know if Harry Carey is in that set. No, don't know. That is something that can be checked uh, through the baseball card database. We got Kendris Morales here, back to the base, and that is not a short print variation or short print variation. J.J. Hardy, Houston Street getting splashed down. Michael Bourne, Jordano Ventura, and a Devin Travis Future Stars. Last pod of the... Of this last Series 1 from 2016 Rack Pack that we're doing this evening. We've got Carlos Carrasco, Future Stars. Lean this off. Back-to-back -back Indians, Carlos Santana. Kyler Murray not looking good tonight, huh? That stinks. we got Sean Doolittle. Koji Yurihara. we got the Chris Bryant Gold Cup card. That's good. That's a good one to have. Nice. We got the Seattle Mariners. Got Wade Davis. Motor City Mashers. Tiger Stars. Roar to Offensive Outburst. Yes, Gold Cup indeed. The Orioles team card again. We've got Angel Pagan. Runeto Dor. Shin Su Chu, Rob Ref Snyder, he must, Britt Gardner, Jed Lowry, no relation, Jake Arietta, and Kurt Suzuki. We finish off with Odubel Herrera, future stars. So, a good pile of Series 1 cards that we got out of those five packs in total that we opened tonight. We've got four Series 2 packs. And let me know, 
Shall I start busting into those? Shall I? Basically, it's two points. Or at least, it was last I checked. All right, let's bust these first these first of the four packs. Who is behind this sticker? We may never know. Here we go. I don't have any 89 Donruss, unfortunately. If I did, then I would consider ripping some of it. We begin Series 2 packs with Mike Fires, Adam Duvall, Franklin Gutierrez. Yeah, I know Mike Trout's behind the stairs. I was just making a, making a little joke, and it was about this little, actually, right here. We got Trevor Brown, rookie card. Madison Bumgarner. Alex Avila. Chris Iannetta. Mac Williamson, rookie card. A neat Billy Hamilton card with him making a great catch. That's cool. He's now in Kansas City, and I hope he's doing well in Kansas City. Michael Morse. A Matt Reynolds rookie card. Ryan Flaherty. Ariel Pena, Tom Kohler, Chichi Gonzalez, Xander Bogarts, Carl Crawford. You don't want me to do a room tour, trust me. Not right now. Maybe I need to do some heavy-duty cleaning, but after that gets done, and after I get some new bookshelves and stuff, I'll definitely do a room tour for you guys. Yeah, 2016 Tops is really nice. Uh, Preston Tucker, Daniel Norris. People got all their noses all out of joint because of the lack of the uh, borders. At least, that's my thought. Uh, Derek Holland. We got Javier Baez, Future Stars. David Peralta. We have a tribute to the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. That's interesting. We have a Tim Lincecum card. Burger's best. Another 100 years of Wrigley Field. Billy Williams this time. Roberto Clemente, that's a 65th anniversary reprint. Hmm, that's cool. Uh, MLB debut, George Brett. Boy, how young does he look in that photo. My word. Another rediscovered Tops ad. We got the Tampa Bay Rays team card. And that is 8895. Not a short print variation or short print variation. No, the Clemente is not seven or 84 tops. It's 73 tops, actually. And, or the 73 design that they reprinted and put that 65th anniversary stamp on. We got Zach Duke. Yeah. Some people do need to uh, complain sometimes. Wicked discounts! How are you doing? Holy mackerel! Paint me red and shove a crowbar up my nose. Wicked discounts! How you doing? Good to see you. We're just opening some 2016 Tops packs that I had purchased buy one get one on clearance, buy one get one half off on clearance at Meyer. I 
I am so happy because I'm just happy to be doing live streams now. Thank you so much. We got Eduardo Nunez, Tommy Malone, the Phillies team card, Jace Peterson, we got D.D. Gregorius, James Shields, and Cody Allen ends the first of these four packs. Next up, next pack. I'm just excited to be doing doing some videos and doing some live streams now. That's that is so it is so cool to be able to do it and be able to talk to you guys. I'm sure you got something to make up for the lack of Meyer somehow, somewhere, at some time. Let's see here. We've got in this pack Adam Duvall, Franklin Gutierrez, paint me green and call me a pickle, Trevor Brown, uh, Madison Bumgarner. I can always use subs, Wicked. I don't know if you're subbed to me already, but I can always use them. Uh, we've got Alex Avila. I already subbed to you, Wicked, but definitely would. Uh, Chris Iannetta, a Mac Williamson rookie card. And Billy Hamilton again. Kelvin Herrera. Hector Rondon. Logan Morrison. What exactly is in the vid? If you're going if you're going to promote it, give me a, a, you know, tease it a little bit more. I'd love to know more about it. Tyler Chatwood. We got Ken Giles. Drew Smiley. Christian Colon. Travis Shaw. Wei Yin Chen. Throwback Thursday Player Edition. All right. I will have to check that out. We got Tommy Pham, Future Stars. Oh, my word. One of my favorites, Josh Reddick. Nice. We got the Josh Reddick. If I had it ready, I would cue up his, his walk-up song back in Oakland. Best walk-up song ever. Careless Whisper by George Michael and or Wham. We got Eugenio Suarez, Mike Leake, Carlos Correa, Future Stars, also a gold cup. That's nice. Mess in the Mill begins with a Roger Maris reprint. Burger's Best, that's cool. Mainly I do sets, uh, Wicked, but... I'm trying to build up a bit more of a New York Giants football collection. Uh, if I have baseball players I was trying to PC, Mr. Reddick would be one of them. And also Pete Rose, I would say, since I live in uh, the Cincinnati area and uh, support the Reds when I can. Hallowed Highlights, Stan Musial wins first of seven batting titles. That's cool. Bryce Harper, youngest unanimous MVP at 23. Another 65th anniversary of Matt Harvey. MLD, MLB debut of David Wright. If any of you still have MLB The Show 16, there's you an MLB The Show code. So... If any of you want it, it is yours. There it is. I don't have it. I don't play it. So there it is. If you want it, it's yours. We got Lorenzo Kane. Not a short print variation or short print variation. Gregory Polanco. Chris Tillman. As we continue with the landscape cards. The Boston Red Sox. Jared Hughes. Milwaukee Brewers. Kyle Crockett. Uh, Caleb Cottom rookie, and the Big Red Machine, the Cincinnati Reds. There we go. Next pack. 
Wow, nice. Congratulations. Oh, I pulled a uh, Saquon jersey card myself out of a pack of 2019 Prestige. <laughs> I have to do another touchdown Alabama tonight. We'll see about that, JC. We shall see. This pack, we've got Chris Medlin, Danny Espinoza, uh, Avisel Garcia, Chris Davis, Michael Saunders, uh, Erasmo Ramirez, Kyle Gibson, a Tyler Duffy rookie card, Patrick Corbin, Wei Yin Shen again, Topps Collation, uh, Austin Hedges, Joey Gallo, Danny Santana, Chris Owings, Cesar Hernandez. I'll definitely keep you in mind. Uh, Gary Sanchez, rookie card. Manny Banuelos. Gotcha. Gotcha, EL. Uh, Miguel Gonzalez. We got Rizel Iglesias, future stars. Dylan Batansis, Brandon Finnegan, Future Stars. I like how they did the Future Stars uh, with the foil embossment at the top. Our oldest Chapman. We have a Tops Gold of Tyler Duffy, numbered 329 of 2016. Another tribute to the kid, Ken Griffey Jr., in a White Sox uniform. Never really thought of him as a member of the White Sox. Wicked, thank you for stopping in. I will definitely stop by uh, at some point here again very soon and check in, see how you guys are doing. And heaven knows if you have any advice for me, uh, I'd love to uh, get some advice from you, somebody who does things like auctions and... Uh, live group breaks and one do one or two of those every so often uh, on the channel this channel here uh, Ichiro chasing three K's at 2600 at this point that's cool yeah I'm, I'm as I'm as flummoxed about Griffey playing in Chi town myself feel free to email me i will do that wicked discounts thank you so much we got ron santo a wrigley field 100 years card that's cool mlb debut tom glavin nice oh we got tops bunt 16 hey you can get a free pack using that code there you go there's another code for you If you want it, you can have it. We got Kyle Waldrop, rookie. Not a short print variation or short print variation. We got Frankie Montas, rookie. We got A-Rod. A-Rod has showed up. Nice. We got Luke Jackson, rookie. Ricky Nolasco. Michael Blazek. Rich Hill, Darren Roof, and Martin Prado. All right, so last pack. What kind of last pack mojo should we ask for? Other than cards that I don't have to complete a set. What should we ask for out of this last pack? A Mickey Mantle Auto. Yeah, all right. Is there a Mickey Mantle Auto in here? Kind of doubt it, but you can hope. One and one Trout Auto Relic. I did pull a Trout Relic out of a out of a pack that I bought on clearance of. I forget exactly what it was, but it was a clearance pack, and it was a Trout Relic card. We've got Gordon Beckham in this pack. 
Aaron Arthur, rookie. Todd Van Poppel. We got Danny Duffy. Derek Norris. Justin Upton. Brett Cecil. Brandon Crawford. Corey Dickerson. Ryan Dull, rookie. Garrett Cole. Matt Den Decker. That's a great name. Greg Holland. Jeff Mathis. James Loney. Giovanni Ursula. Eduardo Escobar. Carlos Correa Gold Cup. Future Stars. Jimmy Nelson. Jerome Walton Jersey. We can hope. Uh, Abraham Almonte. Evan Longoria, that cool Longoria again. JT Romuto, Future Stars. You got Jason Hayward, and this one has an old school logo and an old school feel, and also a bit of a ding corner. But it is numbered 90 of 99. If it won for this corner down here in the lower left, This would have been fantastic. It's still pretty great, though. Still pretty great. We'll put Mr. Hayward in the background. We've got a Yasio Puig rookie. Burger's best reprint. Mr. Puig has not done a lot after leaving L.A. recently. Hallowed Highlights. Stan Musial wins first of seven Ballion titles. Adrian Gonzalez, 1,000 career RBI. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Satchel Page, 65th anniversary reprint. Also with a... Good grief. Still cool. Still cool. MLB debut, Ron Rob Riff Snyder. And then some landscape cards. We got DJ LeMay here. Not a short print variation or short print variation. Travis Wood, Jeff Locke, Sergio Romo, Sean Armstrong, The Angels, Tony Watson, Brandon Barnes. Ugh. And. This pack ends with Jumbo Diaz, and Mr. Diaz also has some messed up corners. Good grief. Not having great luck with good corners with 2016 Tops Baseball. Between this break and between the dollar pack break, I don't know what it is with this year, but this year has not been... This year's series has not been kind to me so far as far as the corner corner thing goes. John Wathen and Chris Sabo do a autograph. That would be an interesting poll, wouldn't it? Chris Sabo goggles. That sounds like something straight out of Allen and Ginter. I would expect to get that uh, from Allen and Ginter. Reds fan 21, welcome. We just opened a whole bunch of 2016 Tops baseball cards, retail packs that I've purchased. Buy one, get one half off at Meyer, and they were on clearance. On top of that, so uh, I was able to get them two packs for six bucks, and now I'm. Doing some sorting and doing some chatting. And. Basically that's what we've got going on. Right now. Yeah well you can go back to the beginning of this live stream. You can. Uh, watch me open those packs and also I had to take a bit of a potty break in the middle of the in the middle of everything so 
Kurt Schilling. Yeah, you know what? I'm more than willing, more than happy to do that. Uh, if you become a Patreon patron, Phillies Cards and Games, to do half football, half baseball. Uh, do you uh, have a favorite football team as well? You root for the Eagles, I guess. Eagles, that's what I thought. Eagles fan, huh? That's cool. Well, I'd love to have you. Even so, it's great to have you be a part of these live streams and watching the videos. That means a lot in itself. Love to have you guys. Love to have you guys be patrons of the channel. Right now we've got three of them. Uh, three Patreon patrons. And that... Oh my word. Sorry, I just ran into a couple more corners. It is what it is. But yes, we would love to have you be a part of the channel, help support us uh, on Patreon. Uh, with the Patreon, uh, you get a weekly shout-out on the channel at some point. And then I have three levels. I have a rookie level, which is $5 a month, a veteran level, which is $10 a month, and a superstar level, which is $20 a month. And with your Patreon pledges, you will receive cards in the mail from me of your favorite team. For instance, Phillies Cards and Games uh, will receive, if he decides to become a patron, will receive Phillies and or Eagles. And you have said that you want to... Do half and half? I'm more than willing to do half and half for you. A uh, rookie level patron will get 10 cards a month. The veteran level will get 22 cards a month. Superstar level gets 50 cards a month. And then we're also going to be coming up with some other Patreon perks as we grow the channel. There's a lot that I would love to do for you guys with Patreon. Well, think about it, Reds fan 21. Definitely think about it. And if you're not able to do it right away, I totally understand. But if you get a chance... And the time comes where you can. How much me? Follow me around and narrate my day. Well, uh, that... I don't know. Do you have us around $80,000 a year that you could spare? That would work. But then I would need some time to myself to... To be able to get on these live streams and open these packs and talk to you guys at some point. So I wouldn't be able to narrate you all your day for when you get up and eat breakfast and all of that stuff. What can I say, Red Fan? So, 80k, so worth it. Well, in that case... Uh, I might have undervalued myself. Might have to bump that up to 100k. <laughs> My word. I keep going back to this, but... Give a 59 minute break every hour. I'll tell you what I can do for you right now is... Do a 
do a few scores for you. We've got Philadelphia leading Jacksonville, 24-10, uh, with two minutes to go in the fourth. Uh, nine minutes to go in the fourth. Green Bay has the ball, but they trail Baltimore, 26-13. Cincinnati, Washington tied at 13 in the fourth quarter. Uh, the Jets lead Atlanta, 16-10 in the fourth. Uh, Oakland leads Arizona, 26-13. That game is in the third quarter right now. And then baseball, Cleveland in the top of the eighth leads the Yankees, 19-4. One out in the top of the eighth. Also in the top of the eighth, the Mets lead Atlanta, 10-3. Top of the sixth, the Minnesota Twins up on Texas, 12-3. Uh, bottom of the first, Houston and Oakland, no score in that one. And then a couple of finals, Seattle beat Detroit, 7-2. And Miami, the Marlins, beat the Dodgers, 13-7. Nathan Peterman is on the Raiders. I had heard about that. I had seen a... Highlight reel, if you could call it that, of uh, Mr. Peterman online. And that should be very interesting quarterback situation in Oakland. The Raiders will win the Super Bowl. In all seriousness, the NFL is much, much better when the Raiders are at least rel relevant. Baseball lover, we will we will be here at least for a little while yet. Now, I will say that I do have to shut this down at 11 o'clock at the very latest so I can get ready and go to work again. But I will plan to be here for a while sorting and just talking to you guys. We'll talk cards. We'll talk sports. Talk Alabama football for if our Alabama football fan is in the chat. Mr. Nick Saban, see how he's doing with that training camp. Mr. Cavalcante, there we go. Uh, I went to college at a little Christian college called Bluefield College in Bluefield, Virginia. And it's a really, really small NAIA Division II school. That should tell you, in a nutshell, how small it is. An Ohio State fan. Oh, boy. How are the Buckeyes... What are their prospects for this season? Because I know a lot of people are, again, expecting Alabama and Clemson to be one and two once again by the end of the college football season. Are the Buckeyes looking like they're worth watching this year? Are they going to be worth watching? I hope for your sake they are. LSU and A&M well I'm looking forward to seeing that but then again the Southeastern Conference is always good yeah do your research get back to me please I'd love to know because college football will be here soon for me it will be for me, football season will be here this time next week. Another Bosa. Good grief. How many Bosas are there? So many Bosas in the world now. All of whom can play football and terrorize quarterbacks. Fifty-eight. That sounds about right. 
Automatic bowl winners. Yeah, well, then again, when there is the New Era Pinstripe Bowl and the whatever our sponsor is this year, Independence Bowl, and all these other bowls, yeah, I would say Ohio State's got a good shot at winning a bowl game this year. Not really a comment, so to speak, on Ohio State, but as much as the current bowl system. Michigan, we'll see. But um, Ohio State does have a new coach this year, correct, for their football team? Lots of bowls these days, yes. Hate Michigan. Totally understand that. New coach. And now who is the new coach at Ohio State this year? What is his name? I haven't been able to look. Urban had another panic attack and quit again, yeah. That sounds about right. New coach is Ryan Dave. Well, hopefully, he can keep things going. Or Ryan Day, rather, huh? Hopefully, he can keep things going in Columbus. We'll see. It all seems to come down to momentum with college football. Because once you get the right coach who's able to recruit the right players into the right system and get the momentum going with winning, then it just it just keeps going for a long time to come. Hence what's going on with Alabama and Clemson. Harper just had a walk-off grand slam against the Cubs. Well, congratulations. Well, I was going to say congratulations, but... The Cubs are your team, aren't they, baseball lover? You love those Cubbies. I know. Uh, let's see. High hopes for Yeah, that's I corrected myself baseball lover because Yeah. Five to one lead in the ninth. Yikes. That stinks. Whoa. Gain a little too exuberant with my sorting. TTMs with my cards. No, I have not actually uh, tried doing TTMs. I've been. I haven't really had time to do anything like that. Baseball lover, I will. If I get time at the end of this video, I will go through that binder and point out the cards that I need. If not, uh, then please, I will be doing a live stream. Plan on doing another live stream on Sunday, say around 8 o'clock or so. And I'll probably be opening up some football then, but I'll look through the binder definitely 
on Sunday. So thank you so much, baseball lover. Take care. All right, so just got the Series 2 semi-sorted into the stacks of 50. Sunday is your busy day. Try to make it no guarantees. Well, I understand. Shuffle those cards like a deck of bicycle cards. <laughs> New way. Uh, as many ding corners as I have seen come out of 2016 tops pack so far. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, not going to do that. Having said that, I do have some baseball cards. Or have some playing cards. And I did have an idea for something else that I could do for this channel that would be kind of a fun, would be a fun thing. There was a game show back in the 1970s and 80s, and they actually brought it back recently for uh, ABC, the ABC television network called Card Sharks. And doing some giveaways with that Card Sharks format. Play some games of Card Sharks and uh, via live stream and give away some trading card prizes to go with it. So that's one of the things that I would love to see if I can try for this channel. Just another idea for more content for you guys a bit more fun to be had yeah there's there's a lot of stuff that I would love to do with this channel love to do keep doing live streams do live breaks do I still want to do a podcast where I talk with some other sports card YouTubers, learn about their collections, and learn about what they do, uh, what their channels and their focuses are for their channels. Yeah, I'd love to do a podcast because it seems these days whether I'm listening to podcasts that are on directly on YouTube or listening to them some other way I'm spending a lot more of my time listening to podcasts and a lot of other people are spending time listening to podcasts There's a lot that needs to happen before that can be realized. We'll see. One of the things that I want to do, I really want to get the group breaks going and have a weekly group break or two. At least some smaller ones to start out with. A weekly football break, a weekly baseball break. And then just kind of go from there. Move on to some of the other ideas. Anyway, we're to the stage now where I'm putting the cards in the binder. And I've got 10 so far that I don't have, or did not have already. There's that. 
Anyway, my plans for my next bit of content will be for Sunday. Uh, a Sunday live stream. We'll try to start that right around 8 o'clock hour this Sunday. I know that a lot of you might be busy with things, but uh, I'm planning to be busy. That's why I'm planning to not be busy. So that's pretty much when I'm going to have to do this podcast, or do the next live stream, rather. There we go. There's that. There's that one. And let's see, there's 44. Nice. So we're up to 17 that we did not have. Nice. Sundays are always packed. Understand about that. Well, Reds fan 21 looks like that you might be the only one in this live stream. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, my sort and finish going into these things. And for everybody... Uh, else, thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and call it an evening because I really need to get ready to go to work again. But for those of you that popped in to watch, thank you so much for watching. We'll plan to do this again Sunday, 8 o'clock. Hope to see you then. Until then, uh, I'm Jed Lockett saying that I hope great things for you are in the cards.